हेलो वेलकम प्रोफेसर छाया गणेश शी इज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड ऑटोमेशन could you tell us more about yourself sure uh, hello thank you for having me here uh, i'm chaya ganesh i'm an assistant professor at the computer science department here at iisc i've been here since december 2019 um prior to that i got my phd from new york university and then i spent a couple of years as a postdoc in arhus university in denmark uh, my first question to you is what does freedom mean to you um so freedom to me is uh, the liberty to pursue one's dreams aspirations the liberty to fail um and the freedom to express and articulate my opinions and ideas uh, without the fear of consequences or societal rejection so um i value freedom of thought and freedom of expression the most uh in general i think one values freedom in that dimension where they have been curtailed or feel constrained um for example you know financial independence is a freedom that i sort of take for granted sometimes mm -hmm. uh, but i know that i have many women before me to thank for that uh, so what motivated you motivated you to pursue a life in science and you you are specializing in theoretical computer science right so, right uh, yeah um so i always liked math and science in school yeah. um and it always seemed like a natural choice um you know along the path whenever i had to make a choice yeah. um thankfully i did not face any resistance uh, when i wanted to pursue this and uh, that that was sort of the motivation that i always was interested and the curiosity sort of stayed um but i think what is equally important is staying motivated right. um you know we inevitably um face a lot of disappointments and failures uh, in a career in science yeah. and we all start out with a sense of wonder and curiosity and sometimes we lose that to a degree along the way because of all the failures so i think it's important to stay motivated and revive our inspiration every once in a while you know go back to that one talk that inspired us and led us into this right. field right. or right. read that research paper that yeah. result that um or does right. and uh, keep keep uh, keep us keep ourselves motivated and inspired right yeah so in this journey of exploring uh, theoretical computer science and cryptography uh, i mean there are many hurdles that you must face one some some from within some from outside also so as a women have you faced any gender bias uh, in your life and how how have you tackled it uh right um this is a very this is a question that requires a nuanced response right uh, yes i have seen a lot of uh, gender bias uh, in my life and career yeah. um thankfully you know i'm i'm lucky that none of those biases uh, stayed with me right um but you know gender bias uh, can be very implicit subtle sometimes difficult to identify but that does not mean that it doesn't affect us it okay. does um and more often than not um it is out of ignorance than malice and uh, the way i deal with it really depends on you know the magnitude the circumstances uh, potential consequences etc sometimes i choose to call it out right. and it's worth it you know it leads to a conversation and that is one step in the right direction sometimes um sometimes i choose to ignore it because it could be part of a larger problem uh that needs to be fixed at a higher level right you know as a societal level at the uh, le at the workplace uh, as a country mm -hmm. and as an individual you cannot take yourself um you cannot take everything on yourself you we really have to choose our battles um so, so the way we deal with it uh, i think depends on the exact incident right and that's a good lesson that choose your battles wisely yes um so talking of battles like uh, everyone has to manage their time and you know uh, they have a career family and personal life and so many other things so uh, how do you balance uh, them and do you did you have to choose between them at some point or uh, yeah how do you deal with that um good question uh, so you know this question directed at women um, annoys me a little bit <laughs> because it sort of presupposes <laughs> that um, women are the people who have to balance uh, career and family men have families too but somehow we have all accepted the fact that they don't have to balance anything <laughs> um so i wait for the day when this question is not addressed specifically to women um but well going back to your question yes today there are hurdles there are stereotypes uh, you know 
um we live in a country well not just india right every country yeah. has um suffers from gender stereotypes yeah. and biases they just manifest differently depending mm-hmm. on culture etc mm-hmm. uh so of course we have to navigate um around these mm-hmm. uh, stereotypes um how do i strike a balance uh, i really think there is no one size fits all answer to this question mm-hmm. personally uh what works for me is um i surround myself with people who support my aspirations and dreams who are my personal cheerleaders yeah. you know they can be family friends or even mentors you have made along the way uh, during your phd and postdoc who root for you to succeed yeah. so keep in touch with them and yeah. surround yourself uh, with those people and you know every once in a while um, sort of take stock of your priorities mm-hmm. recalibrate your uh, expectations and uh, goals right and uh, yeah striking a balance is a personal and individual um, mm. act right it depends on um, it, it's it's easy to balance if you know what we are balancing right mm. um, i mean life has many important components there's work there is uh, caregiving mm. at home there is uh, spending time with family mm. and balancing depends on how much i value each of these components in my life mm. and um this is something nobody else can tell us right as an individual how much i value each of these is uh, my own choice right. and therefore balancing it is also uh, yeah. a highly individual and right. personal act yeah. um but yeah i think what helps is um, have people that uh, support, support you talk to them often right. and uh, take stock of things and it's okay to recalibrate your goals every once in a while yeah. when you feel overwhelmed mm-hmm. by juggling too many things at once right. yeah and yeah, that was uh, good advice uh thank you for the giving thank you. this interview yeah thank you for having thank me you.